Okay, I'm about to do some of the uh, most uh, consecutive talking I've done in weeks because I've got a cold here, and you might notice uh, as this tutorial progresses that my voice gets raspier and raspier, and uh, I will try to avoid clearing my throat too often <laughs> throughout the lesson. So anyway, what we're going to be doing is, of course, uh, going over Toon Boom Animate, as you can see from the uh, screen here, to name your project. The next one, let's go ahead and do that. I'm just going to call this project uh, Dude. And that will open up, uh, of course, the, the meat of the program. Let me make this a little bit smaller so we can all see what's going on here. Um, but, you know, I do actually want you guys to pay attention to what was created when we uh, just named the project. So I'm going to minimize this for a second and uh, just bring in a view the, the folder that was created um, as soon as I uh, uh, named it. And you can kind of get an indication of what's going on with the uh, organization of... Uh, your Toon Boom files, um, just from this right here, you've got environments, frames, jobs, palette, and as we work through this, uh, it should be creating a few more folders, and uh, we'll just check in on that, uh, I think, toward the end of the lesson, but I, I do think it's interesting. One of the, actually, the things I thought was cool was um, that when you publish out the file or you create a movie, it um, uh, sequentially uh, names or creates uh, images for uh, what you've published out. Um, so it does that automatically, and, and I don't know why I get a kick out of it. Maybe I just like sequentially named images, but uh, we'll look at that uh, momentarily. So anyway, let's uh, get back over this way, and uh, what we'll do is uh, bring in some artwork from Flash, because I know many of my uh, long-term students have plenty of uh, vector artwork that they've made in Flash, so if you guys want to play around with uh, animating some of that, It'll be useful to know how to import that in. And uh, then we're going to look at uh, what I think is actually the, just the, the really cool part of uh, character animation in this program, uh, which involves uh, a kind of different methodology um, that uh, you guys are, I'm sure, are used to with uh, creating symbols and doing all that stuff. Uh, this, I think, is similar but kind of totally different. And um, what you'll probably find is that, uh, like learning a new language where things are kind of odd at first like you know when I was learning Spanish you go well wait why, why are the verbs in front of the, the the nouns or whatever and and it's hard to wrap your mind around it at first and sometimes it might even be frustrating but um, just keep that in mind that that it's kind of your will that's that's trying to come into conflict with the program but get used to how somebody else has figured out that maybe things should operate and uh, you'll have an easier time learning I think uh, but you know what, let's um, I'll show you guys this, that I do have a .swf file on my desktop that we're going to be importing in momentarily, and uh, let's go ahead and do that right now. Go over here to the uh, animate library, okay, and it uh, looks like for some reason, okay, no, uh, uh, right click on it, and then go through right to modify, okay, uh, and then right click again, go over here to import files, okay. Uh, just go over here to my desktop. This is where I've got this uh, dude.swf. Go over here to open. And this might take a second too. Uh, that's fine. So I'm just going to click on OK there. And now I'm going to drag this out uh, to the stage. I think you can go uh, over here to the, the, the timeline as well. But uh, let's go straight to the stage. And uh, one thing you'll notice early on is things uh, don't uh, seem totally crisp. Uh, like this is not actually something that's going on with the screen capture software, this kind of fuzziness right here. But uh, Animate has this kind of like work area preview mode. And uh, then if you were to click right here into render view, you would see uh, kind of the, the super crispy finish mode like that. Okay, so when you're working through things though, you do need to be over here in this uh, open GL mode. And the uh, Keen Observer will also notice uh, that uh, I've got a lot of layers here that uh, weren't previously there before. But uh, what I want to do is kind of wipe all that out uh, and then just kind of work with what I had imported in here. So I'm going to select uh, all this stuff. I'm going to cut that off just using the standard uh, cut and paste. Uh, then what I'm going to do is create a new layer up this way. Uh, that layer is just called Drawing 1. I'm going to paste that in there, and then I'm going to go and just select everything else. So select and drown here. Shift select, by the way. And delete layers, delete all those guys. Okay, so I should just be left uh, with uh, all the uh, vector artwork that I brought in. And it's all separated like this, but it is all just on uh, one drawing layer. Okay. 
and quickly what I'm going to do is uh, just run through and group everything. Now, group was, was uh, in, in Flash and all versions of it, I think. It, it was like this self-destruct button for uh, animation. Okay, I, I, in all the lessons I ever taught, I would always say never, never group anything. Okay, uh, in Toon Boom here, it's fine to group things. All right. And I, actually, I don't want to actually go into a lengthy explanation of why you wouldn't want to group things in, in Flash, but uh, let's just uh, trust me on that one. Okay, so I'm going to go over here to Drawing, uh, Group, and now I've got this whole chunk that is an ear. I'm going to select all the uh, hair parts. And actually, by the way, the, one of the reasons I, I'm doing this here in this program is because when I imported it in, you can see I've got, I've got a separate outline for the, uh, you know, the, the black part of that hair. So I just want to go and, and kind of put all this stuff together that would you know, reasonably animate as uh, one unit. Uh, this right here would probably be the under lid of an eye if it were blinking. This would be the top lid. Go over to group. So here's the eye. And this is something I easily could have done with the video paused, but uh, you get me you get to watch me do all this. Okay. And I think the last guy yeah, will be this. Okay. And let's uh, kind of reposition everything over here. Just copy and paste. And actually, while I'm arranging things over here, take a look and um, you'll notice this little divider um, over here between these tools up here and then these down here. And there is a very good reason for that. It's because the top stuff has to do with uh, uh, manipulating your drawings. You know, I keep moving just the pivot point there on this guy. Let's just uh, use the arrow keys to move that. And then um, below that divider is uh, for animation. And the only thing that kind of confused me at first, I think I'm, I need to arrange these differently, is I, I was kind of using this tool right here, this transform one, uh, like I would the transform tool in uh, Flash for uh, manipulating drawings, and uh, they are different. Okay, so you can see that when I've got this black arrow selected, I can do kind of typical transform stuff, rotate, uh, I can scale with it like that, uh, and I'll show you the difference in a little bit when we take a look at uh, actually animating this thing. You know what I needed a group actually is the, these two are separate, okay. Um, and arrangement, by the way, is, uh, is pretty similar in these two programs. In fact, let's go over here to Drawing and Arrange. Bring to front, bring forward, send to back. That's uh, pretty much identical to the way it was in, uh, or is in Flash, I should say. Same hotkeys apply, too. Copy. I'm just going to paste it. Yeah, you can see that this is uh, behind that other one. Uh, on the Mac, I'm holding down the Command key and uh, just pressing the uh, up arrow. I would assume on the PC, let me look at my PC keyboard, that's probably the Alt key. Okay, let's grab everything here, move that over that way. There we go. Finally got below that sleeve, the down arrow with uh, hold, holding down the uh, the command key uh, moves it behind things. And you you know what? I actually <laughs> didn't bring in a, a hand for this guy, but just pretend you know he's kind of like a puppet uh, coming up from the stage there, the, the below the, the stage. And uh, these parts, what we'll do is kind of keep them off to the side for right now. Um, even though we will keyframe them in a moment. I'm gonna make this guy look a little bit more like a slacker. So I'm gonna grab that pupil and just put it a little bit further up and separate those eyes a bit. Oh, you know what? Let's uh, move this forward. Okay. 